Okay, here we have a Kodak PlaySport ZX3 video camera. Um, one of the reasons why I purchased this is because, as you can see from the box, um, it's waterproof. Um, so it would be great for the, the summer vacations and the theme parks and so on. You do get it, you know, a range of colours. Um, I can't remember which colour I've ordered. Maybe blue, maybe the black. It was either the blue or the black. Um, so, nothing particularly interesting on the box. So under here we can see it's a waterproof to 3 metres or 10 feet. It records in full HD, 1080 uh, and 720p. It also takes 5 megapixel still shots. Now, be advised the still shots with both, uh, or with most video camcorders uh, aren't really too great. So I probably won't be using it for the, the still shots, more for the, uh, the camcorder itself. So um, let's take a look and see what's inside the box. So if we break the seal there. Okay, so it was the black I purchased. So the actual box itself, as you open the box, you're greeted with the camcorder itself to start with. We'll come to that shortly. So, other things inside the box. You have your, it looks like a HDMI, the mini HDMI to normal HDMI connector. That's quite nice. I didn't think you would get that in the box. With most uh, of these pocket camcorders, you don't actually get the HDMI cable. So that's a, a nice touch there. You have your standard composite cables. You have a USB cable. So there's your USB cable there. I've got the three pin mains charger, obviously the UK three pin charger or plug adapter. You also get the uh, US two pin charger, so the international uh, adapter as well. You have a Kodak battery, that's a rechargeable lithium ion battery, a strap to put it around your wrist so you're not dropping the camera everywhere and finally you have a quick user guide in about 100 different languages um, and some accessories which you can purchase for the camcorder there and a warranty card other than that nothing else in the box Okay, so let's take a look at the camera itself. If we take the camera, I don't think there's anything else in this box. So there's no software disk and so on. That's the actual camcorder itself. It's a nice size, uh, it will fit into your into a standard pocket quite easily. Um, if I just take it out of the wrapper here. There is a protective, uh, protective plastic wrapping over the actual screen itself. Um, looks like it's going to be very straightforward to use. So you've got your HD 1080p icon just at the bottom there, um, along with the um, three meters, ten foot waterproof icon there. So doesn't look like it's going to be very difficult to use. You've got your power there. This is your HDMI. Sorry, just out of shot there. HDMI and mini USB connector. A little tripod mount there. That's, that's just a hole there. That's where you put the uh, strap through. It's the actual lens itself there. If I can get nice and close in on that. There we go. So that's the lens. We're getting marked up already. 
so I can already tell that this is going to uh, pick up fingerprints quite easy and on the other side we should have here's your battery compartment and uh, a slot for your SD or STHC card so there we go the Kodak placeport well, I'll go away and have a, a quick play with the camera and come back with my initial thoughts and uh, we'll see what the footage is like with some test shots also quick note in regards to the charger obviously this uh, unit charges through the USB cable that's supplied in the box it's a, a mini USB to USB um, one thing I did like is the USB connector is on the two pin mains adapter and this just converts your two pin to a three pin for EU and UK so it just slides into there clips in and there you go so you've got your uh, your charger there and then your USB plugs into the top thought that was quite good and uh, mentioned uh, a worthy of a mention as if you're traveling with the camera uh, you've got both adapters in the box with you which is uh, always very handy okay so all I've done here is I've uh, opened the flap and installed the memory card and the battery so there's the battery there and the memory card I'm using is a 32 gig SanDisk Extreme it's a class 10 which is a little overkill for this uh, but it's the only one I had available so here we go so it should work nicely um, something else I will note is these have a rubber rubber seal around them so when you close them clip it closed that seals very nicely it stops any water getting into the system so uh, the actual unit itself is quite solid from what I can see so far um, switch it on with the button at the top here so there we go that's on and it goes straight into recording mode hopefully you can see it there so that's uh, straight into recording mode to switch between recording modes you press the button here and you've got the different options um, and after a couple of seconds that disappears to zoom you just press the up and down buttons as you're recording and that zooms in and out bear in mind it's only digital zoom so you probably don't want to use it too much um, buttons around here the play button is to play back any clips delete any clips that's your settings button then that puts it back into your mode to uh, start recording some more clips on the actual screen it tells you how long you can record for there the quality you're recording at whether you're recording to your SD card and the amount of battery you have remaining battery I haven't charged this yet so you do get a little bit of charging with the battery not very much um, but enough to uh, get you started so the settings again very simple easy to use to set your date and time and so on uh, power NTSC your brightness of the screen um, volume controls and so on so uh, all very simple very easy to use so we'll click this to get back to the recording screen um, and the button at the top switches it off so it seems very nice easy to use uh, on the actual rear where the lens is here the microphone is just here so where I'm pointing there, you've got a small tiny dot, you probably can't pick it out on the, the camera I'm using at the moment. Um, but that's where your microphone is right there. So um, not too keen on the gloss. I like this uh, matte black finish, not too keen on the gloss because as you can see, um, fingerprints and marks straight away. So that all cleans off, that's got no scratches on it whatsoever. That's just marks from my fingers, but um, just a minor, a minor little niggle. Um, but other than that, seems uh, quite quite uh, well made, quite solid. Um, I not really, I don't really have any concerns about putting this into water after seeing the uh, the seals and everything. There's nowhere else water could uh, really get into this system. So uh, I'll uh, create a couple of test shots, um, both indoors and outdoors, and uh, you can judge for yourselves as to what the quality is like. Okay, this is a test video, uh, indoors, standard room, bulb, 
Um, I believe there's a 60 watt bulb in the room. I'm in a corner of the room. So I'm just going to rotate this so uh, you can get an idea of the uh, quality in indoors under standard lighting. Okay, this is recording at 720p, 60 frames per second, uh, standard, indoors, uh, no lights, so no lighting whatsoever. This is on an overcast day, so it's not particularly bright outside either. Um, I'm in the middle of a room um, with a window to the left-hand side. Um, so as I said, an overcast day, not particularly too bright. Um, not too bad looking at the screen so it's just a I've just got the box here just so we've got something to look at but um, there we go so um, this is an example typically of what you would get indoors on an overcast day using no interior lighting whatsoever Okay, this is using the same settings as 720p, 60 frames per second. I'm now recording outdoors, as you can see it's an overcast day. So, um, not the best of conditions to be shooting in. But it will give you an idea of uh, the image quality you could expect shooting outdoors, which should be a, obviously a lot better than shooting indoors. Audio is also being recorded via the Kodak PlaySport camera to give you an idea of the audio quality. I'm about a foot, two foot away from the actual microphone, around two feet. But there we go, so that's outdoors on an overcast, typical. Uh, British uh, winter day. Okay, so there we have it. That's the Kodak PlaySport ZX3. Um, do I recommend it? Uh, well, yes and no. I think if you are looking to purchase this as a fun video camera, something to go out shooting outdoors with friends around the pool, um, in the pool even, uh, theme parks and so on, excellent little camera good video quality outdoors when it's nice and bright. However, if you're looking to uh, record mainly indoors uh, under lower light situations or mainly in the evenings and so on, um, or if you're looking for a complete replacement to a proper handheld video camera, um, then this is probably not going to be for you. It's more a fun gadget rather than a full-on video camcorder. So there we go, that was the Kodak PlaySport ZX3. I hope you found this review helpful in coming to a decision on whether to purchase this camera or not. Um, if you do, have fun with it.